This is probably going to be the most simplest one for you to answer, but what if you're wrong? Well, what if I'm wrong? I mean, anybody could be wrong. We could all be wrong about the flying spaghetti monster and the pink unicorn and the flying teapot. Um, you happen to have been brought up, I would presume, in the Christian faith. You know what it's like not to believe in a particular faith because you're not a Muslim, you're not a Hindu. Why aren't you a Hindu? Because you happen to have been brought up in America, not in India. If you'd been brought up in, Indo in India, you'd be a Hindu. If you were brought up in, in um, Denmark in the time of the Vikings, you'd be believing in Wotan and Thor. If you were brought up in, in classical Greece, you'd be believing in, in Zeus. If you were brought up in Central Africa, you'd be believing in the great juju up the mountain. I mean, there's no particular reason to pick on the Judeo-Christian God in which by the sheerest accident you happen to have been brought up and, and ask me the question, what if I'm wrong? What if you're wrong about the great juju at the bottom of the sea? <laughs> I see Jesus standing like this with his arm. And then God visited me personally in my tent, and God entered the tent for five hours. And I saw Yeshua calling me. I go into the bathroom, and in the bathroom, I feel some, some, someone uh, come and hug me, someone hug me. Wow, I just met the Lord. One pump, shoop, I was filled with an energy, with a new something. My hair stood up and was shaking. I saw him many times and I knew that it's Yeshua. I knew that it's him. Click the trigger and then he heard a voice. It came like I saw angels came to me. And in that minute I saw that steps coming. He said, sister, what's wrong with you? Oh, maybe that was an angel. I think in, in the night and evening, to listen to Yeshua to talk to me. Jesus came to my room and asked me, what do you want? And I said, I want to walk. And he said, OK, then give me your hand and start walking. And I could see his face. And in that vision, I could see him on the cross. I saw Jesus. He opened his arm and he told me. And all of a sudden, somebody, as if somebody took over me and said, listen, live the no side, just say yes. I'll take it from here. Something happened and I just began to weep. And as I was crying in the shower, Jesus appeared to me. God started to manifest to me in different ways, show me angels. That is awesome. I saw him just a couple of times, so I had, I had, um, I asked Jesus, if you real, if you exist, do this to me, show me this, do me th this to me. So all my children, my husband came, and they said, wow, it's really, there is a life God. What happened that day was very, I don't know, very supernatural, very unusual. This is really supernatural.
fucking Jesus to kiss my ass, okay? Go away. We killed Jesus, we brought it. The Quran says that those who are converted should be killed and everybody should see so that they will take, take them, you know, as an example. There is a punishment for it, which is death by cutting the head off if the person does not go back to Islam. This was a man who was eventually murdered by Palestinian uh, extremists who couldn't accept the fact that he, who was born a Muslim, uh, found uh, a, a love in Jesus and uh, became a Christian. Let me just explain what takes place. We have Muslims that became believers, but they have a problem. They cannot worship in a, in a house, they can't worship in a church. So what we do, we go to a mountain like this, let's say for instance, يعني هو استغرب انه بقول له قال له انه في ناس عماله بتراقبك فراح مستغرب انه انه ايش بدهم فيا يراقبوني فانا فاحنا لقينا خلص عرفنا انه لانه بعد هيك صار رمزي يسال وين انت ففهموا هذولاك فسكروا الجوال. This man um, like like kind of people like strict people they were speaking to him that you would believe in our thoughts in our belief. They said no I believe just in Jesus.